Good day, viewers. So this is another example on the uh, use of cosine rule. Here we have the triangle labeled in other letters that is different from the A, B, C that we used in the previous example. But the formula will still be similar. It's just to rearrange. Here we are asked to find this side. This is going to be our small Q. Our small Q. Because this is the angle Q. So this is our small letter Q. This one is going to be the small r. And here is going to be our small p. So for us to get this side Q now, can we use cosine rule for this? Yes, because we have two sides and the included angle. So that means cosine rule is applicable. Now, the formula we are going to use for this Q will be Q squared equals P squared plus R squared minus 2PR cos Q. You can see that this is similar to one when we have ABC. Like I said earlier, it's just for us to bring out the letter that we are looking for. Then the other two letters will be here. Then their products will also be here. Then the angle of that, the angle facing that side you are looking for is what you are going to have at the last part. So it's very, very simple. Now, Q squared. What is P? Small letter P is 8. That is 8 squared. Small letter R is 5. 5 squared. And 2 times. Our P. P is 8. And R is 5. Cause Q. Q is 139 degree. 139 degree. So we have Q squared equals 8 squared is 64. 5 squared is 25. 2 times 8 is 16. Multiply by 5, 80. Then now we have cos. 139. This angle that we have here is more than 90 degrees, which is different from the previous example. So, in our quadrant, this 139 degree from here to this place is 90 degree. We are left with 49 to make it 139. This is T A S T. Remember, here all ratios are positive. Here, only sine is positive. Now we are dealing with cosine and it has fallen in the region of sine. So that means it is going to be negative. So it will now be minus cos. This angle that we have left here is 41. Remember, the totality of the angle here is 90 degrees. So if we take 49 out of 90, we are left with 41 degrees. So this is going to be minus cos 41. Then, your Q squared, 64 plus 25 is 89. 89, now we have minus multiplied by minus. That's going to be what? Plus. So it will now be 80 times the cosine of 41 degree from our uh, calculator. That is 0 0.7547. So we have Q squared equals 89 plus. If you multiply 80 by 0 0.7547, you have 60.376. So our Q squared will then be 89 plus 60.376. That will give us 149.376. So your Q will now be square root of 149.376. So 
all we are going to do now is to is to use our calculator to find the square root of this for 149.376 so let's press our calculator so our Q now is 12.22 meter so that the, now it depends on what the question asks you to do if this one decimal place is going to be 12.2 meter and if it is two significant figures you have 12 meter because the next number is not up to five so whatever the whatever instruction or uh, value you are asked to give will now depend on what you have so you can now differentiate between when we have an angle that is less than 90 degree and when we have one that is more than 90 degree so when it is more than 90 degree you count and see where the angle is going to be if it falls in this second uh, part that means it will be negative because this is not for cosine this is where we have cosine and the angle now lies in sine so you count 139 degree from here from this point to this point is 90 degree so what do we need now to come this 139 that's how we got this 49 and since everything here is 90 degree from this we have 90 degrees so you take away 49 from 90 here we got 41 so that was how we got this 41 degree or better still you can just subtract 139 straight away from 180 degree if you do that you will still have 41 degree and don't forget this negative sign we multiply this negative sign you have a positive sign and don't add 89 and 80 before multiplying by 0 0.7547 first you multiply 80 by this then whatever you have you add it to 89 in order to avoid the mistakes thank you don't forget to subscribe god bless you